Carbon monoxide, also known as the silent killer, is a highly poisonous substance that can result in serious health problems. Today, I spoke with Tony Bell from Northern Gas to find out more. Carbon monoxide is potentially fatal. Um, it's produced through the incomplete combustion of a fossil fuel, gas, um, coal, logs. If there's not enough oxygen in order to burn the fuel adequately, carbon monoxide is produced. If it's actually um, vented out through the appropriate um, parts of the installation, then it's managed quite well. Where it actually finds its way into properties and people are exposed to it, it can potentially kill people. If people are aware of how serious it can be, it would perhaps make them more um, able to recognise some of the symptoms and causes and prevent themselves from being exposed potentially to carbon monoxide and potentially fatal situations. It isn't just the gas appliances, um, it's actually the ventilation into the room. So certainly there are some visible signs on appliances, a yellow flame, perhaps looking a little bit loose rather than a nice, clear, nice blue flame, um, signs of sooting around the appliances where you, you end up with deposits, are all indicators that carbon monoxide may be present. And generally, this is because the exhaust fumes from the appliance aren't vented adequately. Um, so sometimes people will think that it's, um, if it's winter and it's cold, that they can block up um, vents. That may cause a lack of air going into the room to allow the appliances to burn correctly. And similarly, the flues and chimneys can become blocked. Birds, falls, deposits. So it's important that those aspects of the installation are checked as well um, as having the appliances maintained well. People can protect themselves from carbon monoxide by installing an alarm and making sure that they have their appliances services regularly. However, it is actually generated as a result of incomplete combustion of all fossil fuels. Um, and there have been instances where people on camping, for example, um, have taken some of the portable barbecues that you can buy and they've actually put them in the tents and there has been very unfortunate instances where people have actually died through bringing a barbecue into the tent. Um, similarly, um, boating environments, LPG appliances um, in boats um, and caravans. And again, if it's not got adequate ventilation and the, the appliances aren't serviced, um, be they gas or an alternative fuel, then that can result in carbon monoxide as well. So it's really important that people know that it's not just gas, it's not just in their own homes, but they can be exposed to it. Um, in many different, um, even outdoor situations. So an annual service for all gas appliances um, is recommended um, and that should be undertaken as a matter of course. It's law for private for landlords, um, they have to have their appliances done. Owner occupiers perhaps aren't aware of the need for such great emphasis on having their appliances service, serviced. So that's the first thing, um, make sure that their appliances are, are actually serviced. Make sure that any ventilation that you've got um, near a gas burning appliance isn't blocked some people tape them up and block them off, make sure that they're left nice and clear and have chimneys and flues checked regularly. So it's very important that they understand uh, the symptoms, which are very much the same as flu-like uh, symptoms. Nausea, headache, drowsiness are all the kind of things which people often mistake as being a bit of a heavy cold or a flu, um, but could be warning signs that people are exposed to carbon monoxide. The important thing for people to remember then is if the symptoms abate or go when they leave the property, then it's highly likely that they may be being exposed to some kind of carbon monoxide. So if you're feeling unwell when you're in the house and you're feeling well when you're actually out of the property, it's certainly worth having your appliances checked, calling the National Gas Emergency Number or seeking medical advice to work to make sure that you're not being exposed to carbon monoxide. For more information, please call Gas Helpline on 0800 111 999 or visit www.gassafecharity.org.uk or follow the Dominic Rogers Trust on Facebook. I'm Ayo Akiodi, reporting for Kirkley's local television.